Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today we'll be going over the Pathlink menu. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the menu buttons. So starting from the screen, on the left side of the screen, you're gonna see four buttons on there. All right, the first one on top is your OK button. That's the one we're gonna be using a lot. Underneath this one is an M. This is your mode button. This is not a menu button. This is a mode button, and we'll go through that later. Underneath that M button is you have a lock button, okay? This button you would use if there's an incident happening in front of you and you're driving your car, but nobody hits you. There's an incident happening in front of you. So what you wanna do is you hit this lock button and it would lock the current video and it will record what's going on outside. Now, just remember, this goes with your loop recording, which we'll get to that later. Now, if you have a loop recording of five minutes and you press this lock button at four minutes and 30 seconds, well, this is only gonna lock that video for another 30 seconds because after the five minutes, it loops to the next recording. It starts recording again. So you gotta make sure you keep hitting this lock button for every loop that it has Underneath that one, the lock button, you're going to have the power button. And this one powers off and on your screen. Or if you hold it for a few seconds, it will it would turn off or on your dash cam. On the other side, you have the SD card insert. Underneath that one, you're going to have the up button, which is right here. Underneath the up button, you're going to have the menu button. This is a rectangle icon with some dots in it. That is your menu button. Underneath that one is you have your arrow down button. Prior to turning on your dash cam or your car, let's go ahead and just insert the SD card first, okay? With the back of the SD card facing you, let's go ahead and insert it to the left side here, to the SD card insert. We're gonna push it with their nail because it's spring loaded. And you can see me show you just, see how, you hear that little, that little uh, sound? There it goes. So it's in there now, okay? So let's go ahead and turn on the car. All right. And it should get you to the recording screen with the red, there you go. You see that dot? That means it's recording, okay? This SD card was already format is so what it'll do if it's not formatted to the dash cam you have to format your micro sd card in the dash cam not your computer okay so let's go through through that first since that's going to ask you the first thing it, it'll, to do is to format your micro sd card even if it doesn't ask you to you want to do this okay so on the left side we're gonna hit that menu button, which is the rectangle with the dots on it. Oh, first we gotta stop the recording. The way you stop recording is you hit the power button one time. I mean, the OK button, the top right. All right, so it looks like you have to hold it down like two, three seconds until you see the dot and the numbers, the red dot and the numbers stop. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit your menu button on the left side and it'll take you to the menu screen, okay? Now the first thing on top is says resolution. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Here we go. Is your resolution. So we're going to arrow down. I'm sorry for shaking, but it, let's see. Okay, here we go. Resolution, then we're going to hit OK. And the first one it tells you is their 1080 you see is your 1080 full HD then underneath it is 1080p which is highlighted underneath that is 720p well we're gonna go with always the highest resolution so then after that we're gonna hit the OK next one down is your loop recording so let's arrow down and we'll hit OK 
which is the top right button and then it right now is highlighted at five minutes so we have one minute two minute or three minutes or five minutes so it gives you a lot of choices here okay now I'll keep mine at five minutes the highest number because the, I'll be looking at one five minute video of all these loop recordings so there's multiple footages okay now if I look at a one minute recording well that's gonna take me just for one minute so I have to look at five one minute recordings just to compare to my one five minute one so that's why I like to keep mine the highest okay so we're gonna arrow down to five minutes okay we're gonna hit OK all right now we're gonna arrow down we're gonna hit exposure I'm gonna hit OK again which is the top right button and you see it's a zero zero uh, plus one third plus two thirds and underneath it is one third or one negative one negative two thirds okay so what this does is is this is your lighting exposure for your to review your footage or your camera footage so what it is is say you drive at night a lot so you want to uh, adjust the exposure so you can see the porting a little bit brighter than what you normally would at, at a night time and same time for daytime if you drive a lot in the daytime then you want to adjust it I'm gonna keep mine at zero so we're gonna get hit okay and then we're gonna go back down to motion detection okay and we're gonna hit okay and you can have this off or on okay and this is pretty much what detects anything that's moving in front of your car while the camera is on if you're inside the car or something so we're gonna hit uh, we're gonna hit on just in case just to go through that okay now and underneath that is recording audio okay this is this is this recording audio is to record anything inside the cabin inside your car that anybody's talking anybody's saying and so forth so it will be recorded if you don't want anybody to hear your recordings your audio you're gonna go back you're gonna hit OK to get in there and you're gonna arrow up to off okay but we're gonna keep this on on and another good reason you want to keep your audio on is in case you do come to an accident you want to lower down your windows okay position your car in front of the person or the vehicle so you can record them and if you're able to if they're talking loud enough you can record the audio and if case they admit fault all right so we're gonna arrow down to date stamp so we're gonna hit OK and we're gonna turn this off or on and the date stamp again is like your cell phone or any uh, camera you want to have the date or and time stamped on your pictures okay we're gonna hit OK we're gonna hit on okay we're gonna go back down to G sensor okay and this one is gonna be let's see set to low medium or high I'm gonna keep mine to high because I'm gonna record any incident, either be a like a low fender bender or, or a high impact accident. Uh, and and the way you want to to um, set this is when you review your your footage. If you have a lot of footage to say LOC, that means it's your high breaking, and it'll record anything with a hard break. So then, if you don't want too many of those locked videos. Um, you want to adjust your settings to like a medium or low okay so I'm gonna put mine a high and I could go back and re review my footage if I need to adjust it I will WDR technology WDR is next we're gonna hit the OK button and you can put this on or off I'm gonna keep mine to on okay so we're gonna hit OK then I'm gonna arrow down see what's next license plate okay so what this is you're gonna hit I'm gonna turn this off or on and again if you see my my uh, my other video of this explanation the license plate stamp is just you could put your person who's driving the car in the on on your footage or the license plate or the make of your car so I'm gonna put this on on okay and this is when you can start spelling out what you want so here I already pre uh, pre put path link okay and the way you change this is by arrowing up for to change the alphabet or you arrow down to do that okay so let's just change this and you could arrow up okay so I'm going to name this O and then once you have that oh sorry hit okay 
I didn't hit the okay, I hit the menu button. We're gonna hit on. All right, let's get back into it. You saw how we changed the up, up or down. So we got O. We're gonna hit the okay to go to the next alphabet. And say you want a space, all right? So let's arrow down. And after the numbers, there's going to be a space. There's one, zero, and then see there's a space. So we're gonna hit okay. And you see how the, it went back to the T now. And again, you could change this. And if you only want four uh, characters, then you put four and then you put spaces all around uh, at the end. So you only have four characters. Okay, so let's just keep it like that. We're gonna hit the okay button. And then we're, now we're gonna hit the menu button to get out of this. Okay, and that is the last of the first menu. Okay, so we're gonna hit now the menu button one more time to get into the settings. Okay, this is your park mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit okay. And I want this on high because I want to record anything if somebody hits my car while I'm parked or some shopping cart hits my cart or somebody leaning on my cart. I want to record, make sure I record these. And again, if you're getting too many of these, then you want to change your settings to medium or low. All right, so we're gonna hit the okay for high. Now I'm gonna arrow down for date and time. So this is where you could change your actual date and time. Okay, right now we have it at 2021 at february 27th at uh let's see 104 20 uh, 23 minutes okay i believe this is going to be am all right but we'll just go into it so 2021 is fine we're gonna hit okay then let's change it to say july i arrowed up to the to the seventh which is the month and then we're gonna hit okay and it goes to the 27th let's go ahead and hit it to the, the third so we're gonna arrow up let me go one two and three we're gonna hit okay for July 3rd. We're gonna hit 10 o'clock. And the arrow up for that. Well, miss, just arrow back down. That's all you gotta do. Now, but let's just make sure this is AM or PM. And you see where it turns to the 1300 hours, 1400 hours, 15. So those are your PM hours. So this will be at three o'clock PM, but we're gonna go back to 10 AM. All right, so it's 10. And then we're gonna hit uh, okay to go to the next one and let's go to 17 all right and then we hit okay and it goes to the seconds if you want to adjust that so now once we're done we're gonna go ahead and hit the menu button and it takes you back to the settings where we were at okay now we got the next one is auto power off you could set this off to one minute or three minutes now remember your dash cam only has a small charge to record while it has no power. So it has a little internal battery. The more you keep this on, the less power you're gonna have to record any functions under park mode. So I'm gonna leave mine to off to where it turns off automatically. So next one we're gonna go down is to screen saver, okay? We're gonna hit okay. And after three minutes, your screen will turn off while you're driving your car or turn off after five minutes or 10 minutes, okay? I'm going to leave mine on three minutes. Hit okay, arrow down. Oh, hit the wrong button. Menu again, let's arrow down. I think we were uh, auto power off, we're a screen saver. So now we're at beep sound, okay? So we're gonna hit okay. And you see right now it's on off because you really didn't hear any beep sounds while I'm going through this. So we're gonna hit down one and we're gonna hit okay. And let's see if you hear any beep sounds now. So you hear that beep sound? There you go, the beep is on. We're gonna leave it on. We're gonna hit okay for language. You got English and then other types of uh, foreign languages. Uh, so I'm going to leave mine on English. We're going to hit OK. Now the, sec the next one is frequency. Let's arrow down. Hit OK. And it's at 50 hertz or 60 hertz. It records it by frame. So 60 hertz is the best thing you do. So if for, for every frame it has, you'll get one foot of footage. So we're going to leave it there. Next one is format, which we've gone through already. But we're going to do it again. Let's hit the format. We're going to hit OK. And see if I've been moving this camera over. Oh no, it's fine. 
Okay, so now we're gonna uh, arrow down to OK, and we're gonna hit uh, OK button, and it says please wait, and then it goes back to the screen. That means the format is done. It's done. So let's go back down one more for default settings. Uh, again, this is if you want to just set it back to the factory settings, but we're not gonna do that because we made some changes. We wanna make sure we can see those. So we're gonna hit cancel, and the next one should be your version, and you hit OK. And that's the current version you're at. We're going to hit OK. And then we are done with the menu and the settings. Okay. So now let's get to the uh, main screen again. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, the menu button. One break in this video I want to show you is on the lock button that I told you about earlier. So when you're driving, okay, or you're parked, okay, and your car is on or you're driving and you see an incident happening, okay, what you could do is you could press that lock button or have your passenger press it for you and you press it, okay. Now once you press it, you're going to see that icon rolling up right here, okay. That means you just locked that current video and would not be overridden. So now when this timer goes up to a five minutes because it's on a five minute loop it's gonna it's the lock is gonna turn off so just make sure you keep hitting that lock button if the incident occurs at more than extended time now that we're back at the main screen let's go ahead and start recording by hitting the OK button one time let's hit it a few more seconds and it starts recording okay so this is your record mode now I'm going to turn this to the return this and I'm going to show you that mode button again which is the M one. Remember the M is not menu, it's mode. All right, that's the one we're going to be using right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to position our screen back and we're going to go ahead and hit M for mode. All right. So now we see an icon with the camera on it, okay? A picture camera that's for your picture mode all right we're gonna hit M again one more time and it's gonna take you to your playback you see that little symbol there okay that is your picture your pictures okay I took a few pictures before so let's go ahead and arrow up and see where it takes us another picture you can't really see it but this is it's a JPEG uh, symbol on the, at the end okay and then right here it has a little let's see a AVI okay that's your recording so what we're gonna do is we're going to hit OK and I'm not sure you can hear but there's a little bit of sound in there and you can see the red numbers going up of how, was the time stamp that is recording the time Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hit um, OK to stop it and then we're gonna hit arrow up so again AVI is your videos and the ones with the J on it that's your JPEG that's your pictures okay so that's how you do it now let's go back and see how do we take a picture I know you didn't see that part so let's go ahead and hit mode again you're back at the video hit M again and now you see the camera so okay so now we're ready to take a picture not sure why you would want to take a picture with your with your dash cam but we're gonna go through that okay so let's on the right side you have the OK button now just listen you see how I press the OK and you heard that sound okay so those are pictures we just took okay so let's hit that mode button one more time to go to playback and you can see how we went up on the pic on the camera and it took that picture there, there's that picture you see another they see no that's let's go the other way and these are the pictures we just took all right so that's how you do your modes another break in here I want to show you under the mode we're gonna go back to playback and on the playback we did a lock video and it has a lock symbol on there okay so that's gonna show you your lock video and it would not be overridden Now let's go back to mode. We're going to go back to the camera function. Under the camera function, we're going to hit the menu button. And this gives you again the menu for the camera. 
any guys resolution sequence quality sharpness um, white balance and so forth and I'm not gonna go through this because I see it as an unnecessary to take pictures with your dash cam which everybody has a cell phone at this time so I'm gonna get mode and then we're gonna go to playback all right now let's see if there's any menu settings in there and you have a delete or you have to protect so even if one of your videos was not protected from earlier you can arrow down and hit OK and it will protect that lock the current video or if you have one that's locked it will unlock that current video or lock all or unlock all okay so this is if you have a, an accident and you want to make sure everything was recorded leading to that accident then you hit lock all so right now we're just gonna lock the current one we're gonna hit OK and then it says so you sure you're gonna say okay and that's pretty much it let's go back to the main screen by hitting mode and we got your back to your camera mode okay so those are your menu functions to how to use that All right. we'll go over a few icons in just a minute but before that if this video is helpful for you please give me that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos I put something in front of this the lens so you can start seeing if you can see the buttons a little, little bit more clearly. The top left is your video mode you're in. On to the right side of that, I'm sorry, I can get my finger out of the way. On the right side of that is your audio with the microphone, all right? If you turn it off, the symbol will come off or there'll be a red line through there. The next one is the G for your G sensor. Next one over is your time recording, how much time you have in there. To the right of that, you have P for park mode. On the right side of that one is your, um, on the right side of that is your resolution. Underneath that straight down is your micro SD card where it's, it's highlighted in blue, that means it's one inserted. Underneath that, you see that symbol blinking back, uh, off and on. It's a battery with the cord on there. That is your charging. That means your dash cam is charging. Going back to the top left button, you have the video mode again. Underneath it is your timestamp. I'm sorry. Underneath that is your loop recording, and it's a circle with five on there. Underneath that loop recording, you have WDR. That's your WDR technology. Underneath that, you have your 2021, the year we put, the month, the date, and the time. Now, we also did a license plate stamp, okay? You will not see that until you actually re review your footage that you record. So, that's why that license plate stamp is not on there. Here's a break from the icon setup. Now, when we were going the license plate stamp, we entered our license plate that we wanted to put under which we just pretty much broke up the word path link now under the icons when i was showing you from the record screen you could not see what we what we typed under under the playback button you'll see it right here and which we we typed in a o and then we created a space so i could show you how to do a space into your the word you wanted to put in there your title and then we have the the TH and so forth on the, which we broke up at the link and you can see where that's going to be right here if this video was helpful for you please give me that thumbs up and help me out by subscribing below and hitting all notifications for all the upcoming videos thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe